Here, here, there we go. Hello, and welcome to Kickstarter Talk. My name is Mr. Anderson, and I am the voice of Written Sins, and today we're going to tell you about exciting new Kickstarters. And like we like to do every week, we go through the list first to just let you know what's going on and what's showing up on Kickstarter. But as something special this week, what we're going to wind up doing is quickly showing you a video of the art show that we've been trying to promote a lot. And you guys can see the list here. We're gonna, this is what we're going to be going over this week in detail. Um, but very quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys, and you guys are seeing behind the scenes now. I want to share with you the art show that we're very excited about, which is the MLAC show. And it's the one that's Indigo. So we're going to start the program this week for once with a different starting point. And that's, we're going to do the Indiegogo and get that out of the way so we can focus on Kickstarter because this is an amazing project. And I know a lot of people watch the beginning of the video and I want to try to really help promote this. It's in its last couple days. So here we go. As soon as it, there we go. We like Canadian comics. We like independent comics by local creators. doing uh, last rights we were actually able to officially fund it it took two dollars and I was happy to give the two dollars to officially fund it so we are excited and happy to be part of getting this this amazing show funded uh, they did a great last minute push so for anyone who ever thinks that for some reason something can't happen, I, I have to tell you that you're wrong. This absolutely is easy to happen. And it is something that can happen in the last minute. And it is very, very easy for it to happen. So keep that in mind, even if you see a Kickstarter, uh, not looking like it's going to fund. It doesn't mean it won't fund. Don't discount it. Don't not back it. Don't do that to it because this is a, a, it's got five days left and it's a underdog story. It came back out of nowhere. So I'm very happy to have it on the show. And that's why I wanted to start the show because I wanted to, and that's my co-creator, Claudia over there. I wanted to show you guys that you can never write out a Kickstarter. You can never, or an Indiegogo project, Indiegogo project, I should say. Uh, never consider something dead until it doesn't fund. So all I'm going to say, that's why we wanted to start it with this this week. So here we go. We're going to go through the list. We just saw the MLAC. We always talk about supporting autism awareness by helping the autistic Jedi get to DragonCon 2018 by buying a patch. It only costs... Um, I believe it's eight dollars reach out to them online or see me at a convention at my table this is all to get the r4 unit and the autistic jedi team to dragon con 2018 supporting one dollar only takes a single dollar and that one dollar can show support attract attention help fund projects support indie creators and help create new worlds to join the veterans wife in this holiday season trying to make it joyful for all veterans time is running out get on it today Go to the Veterans Wife on Facebook and sign up and see how you can bring happiness to veterans. Undig Greatness as Cadaver's Reverend will be featured today along with the Luminous Age of Dragons 1 through 3. 
We're going to talk about Lucky Shot, and I even have something special for the Lucky Shot for you guys. Level up, make money at conventions. We're going to talk more about that in a few minutes. We're going to talk about Woohoo Morris and what now, Bruno? This is going to be an exciting show because we have five star comics and dream walkers to talk about, including Saw and Niobe 4, The Broken Kiss. Blackjack, uh, we're going to hit on Blackjack. Well, you'll understand later, I guess, the joke. James versus the New World Order on Folds on Kickstarter. Rapid City, Josh Dahl's amazing uh, comic book comes to life. And Dream Walkers, we're going to talk about again because apparently it's on it twice. We're going to talk about Dragon Trolls and Descendants and Victoria Black. <coughs> Buckle up. This is Kickstarter Talk. We're going to start off with Luminous Dragons, Age of Dragons. <laughs> Luminous Ages is a fantasy adventure comic series that offers a fresh and diverse approach to fantasy. The universe is filled with dragons, dream magic, and surreal-like wonder. Thirteen gods have been fighting for control of the dream planet, Ecratoria, and the universe since the dawn of time. The mayor crave power and dominance and have been fighting the tranquil alliance and all forces in between for control of dreams and reality. Can an alliance of dream agents from the three schools of Captuveri, Luminary, and Chosen save the day? The planet is under environmental threat, and many adventurers and heroes such as Leon Taros, Arcturios, Lina of the Light, and Gaius are racing to protect the innocent. Are the mayor the only threat? What are the darkness lies in the shadows? The story starts with Thrakos, a young dream mage who is on a journey to discover his dream powers. Join him and others as he adventures through the many lands of Ecratoria. In issues one to three, explore a surreal dreamlike world and discover dragons, surreal creatures, and more. What awaits Thrakos and his team, and how will things unfold? Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Christie, the creator of Luminous Ages. I want to thank you all for backing my project, for sharing it, it really means a lot to me. And I want to let you know what's so special about this Kickstarter is it's a commissions Kickstarter. So you actually get to be in our comic book, in the labyrinth markets, as a character in the scene. There's limited spots, but it's so cool because you actually get to be published in issue three. To top it off, we're also making a commissions comic art book, where you can be in the Luminous Ages comic art book, you can have a creature of your choice or a creature in an epic world together. You can also commission a creature or dragon in ink or watercolour. I want to thank you all again for looking at this and I really look forward to seeing you on Kickstarter. It's going to be so cool. See you there. And that is Luminous Dragon, which is running out of time. We did feature it on Last Rites. If you want to know more about this Kickstarter, please check out Rittenson's Last Rites for Kickstarter show. We went very deep into this project, and we'd love for you to find out more. Time is running out, so please do act fast. This has amazing art, and it's definitely something worth backing. Lucky shot. Let's take a look. Kickstarter campaign. Lucky Shot opens up with our main character, Lucky Shot, as he tries to bust an alien weapon smuggling ring based in Rio. 
Coming at you with art by Marcelo Traum, colors by Andrea Celestini, written by Marcel Dupree, awesome pinups and posters from various different artists, like desktop backgrounds. We have like a plethora of prizes for you guys for Lucky Shot Issue 1. By backing this campaign, you are funding the completion of Lucky Shot Issue 1. So there's going to be a little bit of time between when the campaign ends and when I can get the book in your hands, but I promise that I'll make sure to update you guys as much as I can. On behalf of everybody involved, thank you guys so much, and I'll be sure to talk to you soon. So, I told you I'd have something special for you guys. So, I certainly do have something special in store for Lucky Shot. So, let's take a look at what we have to offer you today. So, we're going to go to our Written Sins site. We're going to go all the way up here. Sorry for the fast scroll. I know I hate watching that. We're going to go here. We're going to look on the front page. This will be on WSN News, by the way, today. But we're also going to share it with you guys. This is a Kickstarter that is on its last rights, meaning the time is running out. But it's one of the most amazing things for this Kickstarter that could be happening to it. I'm going to share this with you. Here it is. Lucky Shot just reloaded with heavy ammo from Indie Comics. What does that mean? That means that once they hit the stretch goal, all backers receive eight additional Indie Comic books. Downloads. So this is an amazing, amazing uh, news. It means that you guys are going to be able to actually get to see the amazingness that is my book, Jax the Anderson. That's right. You're actually going to be able to see my book if you haven't already. I don't know why you don't have it already, but if you don't, you can now get it if you help them get the stretch goal. And they call us monsters. I'm going to be joined by Ace Blade, one and two, it looks like. We got, uh, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. And it looks like something from Mad Robots. That I um, could be wrong there, but Metaphy the Boston Metaphysical Society, Clarity Girl, and American Kingdom. How awesome is that? Now, mind you, that is joining the already huge amount of indie comic books that are available on this uh, current Kickstarter. So it is an amazing amount of great creators coming together to support. There you go. All there on one thing. You're welcome. I know. I, I give you guys the best stuff. That's that's my job, to give you guys some of the best stuff. And I really think that this is honestly going to be something that's fantastic for you guys. It gives you something that you're going to be excited about. It is just thrilling. So I am happy to bring it to you. <laughs> and this is also part of our Kickstarter Last Rites, which uh, aired yesterday, but can be found on Written Sins to find out more about this amazing project. For now, we're going to have to move on to Cadaver's Reverend. <laughs> Cadaver's Revenant is the new project for Mad Robot Comics, and it's by far our most ambitious undertaking today. We follow the story of a supernatural outcast, the cadaver known as Revenant. Revenant's ability to piggyback on dead or dying bodies and remake herself in any organic material around provides us with a great starting point for a highly visual, action-packed story. It also gives us the opportunity to focus on the more disgusting applications of Revenant's powers. All set against a backdrop of conspiracy, intrigue and betrayal. Cadavers reunites the writer-artist team of Matt Hardy and Edward Bentley for a project they're calling their finest work to date. We hope you will join us for a monster of a story. So now as well, this was actually featured on our last rights program. So if you want to know more about this amazing project, do check it out. There's only 44 hours to go. So I suggest acting fast. 
We're going to take a look at, we already saw the MLAC at the top of the show, so we're going to move on to What Now Bruno? <laughs> This is a funny part of the video, but I want to just... Uh, my name is Bruno Oliveira. To, uh, uh, I'm a comic book artist. Uh, I've been doing this for a while. I'm uh, a Brazilian comic book artist. And I've done work for Marvel, like uh, Amazing Spider-Man. A Gwenpool Holiday Special. I've done Deadpool and a couple issues of Mosaic as well. And the, um, the story that I'm bringing here to Kickstarter is called What Now, Bruno? And it, it's a sort of a semi-autobiographic. Uh, even, I, I know that you just heard that and it sounds completely boring, but it's really not. It's actually really funny. And it's really cool and it will follow the story of a professional comic book artist after he makes it, what happens? People just stop giving you advice as soon as you make it. Uh, so you really have to figure out for yourself. And this book is me trying to figure out things for myself. Uh, and my girlfriend helps me. Uh, my pets, not so much. Uh, in fact, let me introduce you to my, to my girlfriend. You meet. Uh, and now, now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize that what now Bruno sounds like a misleading uh, title. Before you make it, professional artists, editors, agents, they can give you the best uh, tips and advice that you could possibly get to break in. But after that, there's really, there's really no formula. And you just go along. And I, I realized that the title is misleading because this book won't help you at all to figure any of this out. It will not give you any tips, any solutions. It is just me trying to figure everything out. Hopefully in a really, really funny way that you will like it as well. The book is 64 pages. And it's actually, it's been written for a while. I wrote it about five years ago. Of course, I have two editors helping me out, Brett and Chris. And which is, you know, great because my English is like this. And this is the first volume, the 64 pages. Uh, I'm writing, drawing, inking, coloring, and lettering everything myself. And um, I really hope you guys like this. There are a lot of really cool rewards, like original artwork from, from these Marvel books that I mentioned. There are some, uh, some commissions that you can uh, purchase as well. There's a reward in which I will draw a story of you or for you. The campaign page, you will see that there are some previews, but, but these aren't actually stories that will be in the book. I didn't want to spoil anything because um, the story is actually, like I said, it's, it's a pretty cool story. So I didn't want to spoil anything. So this is just for you to see the kind of tone, the kind of humor, the kind of writing and drawing that there will be uh, in the story. I really hope you like this. I appreciate, I appreciate you watching it. I appreciate you supporting it, and hopefully this will happen. Thank you. Now, it is true that you get to a point in your career, and I've heard this from other creators, you're suddenly at a point where you're, you're doing all this stuff and you don't know what's next. So I think that that's what he's speaking to. So I think it is powerful. And the art is great in it, and he has a sense of humor. Uh, definitely check it out. It is so worth the time. I think he's a great creator. Now, there is one thing I wanted to mention. If you guys notice that it says back this project, I am not signed into my account. I just wanted, I said this earlier before we went online, and I just wanted to verify it now. I am no longer going to be showing which Kickstarters I back because someone had made it, uh, had pointed out to me that if I don't back a project, it might seem that I'm not supporting the project. and. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not Bruce Wayne. So sometimes it's just a choice of being able to eat versus backing a project. So with that in mind, I decided I'm going to be signed out for the rest of the duration of me doing these videos. So I'm going to say this. I backed them all. 
Ha ha. How do you like that? Every one of them on this certainly deserves a dollar. And a lot of times, even if money's tight, I try to get a dollar to everyone. Um, so this is definitely a project that has gotten at least a dollar from me. We got to move on. More about this was actually part of the actual uh, Last Rights program as well. So check that out. Here we go. We're going to talk about Level Up, making money at conventions. And it looks like we got a new video. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Dragon Spice's first ever Kickstarter campaign. Thank you all so much for coming. Please, have a seat. I suppose the best place to start would be to introduce myself. My name is Alicia Cole and I'm a writer. More specifically, a mangaka. I've been doing this for about 10 years now and I've created such titles as Onkai and Level Up Publish Your Own Manga. But the manga we're here to kickstart today is Level Up Making Money at Conventions. I started the Level Up series in response to all of my fans asking me questions when they'd see me at the conventions. As you can imagine, I never had time to answer them all, so I set out to make fun, friendly, colorful guides that would take people through each step of the process. In Level Up Make Money at Conventions, you can follow me on my journey as I make mistakes, have some wins, and pass on the lessons I've learned all along the way. This show and tell handbook is sure to give aspiring vendors a leg up in making their own dreams come true. Middle middle. <laughs> That's right, Fail Doll. You're in it too. Anyways, we really need everyone's help to publish this guide. So if you would support this Kickstarter, I'd be ever so grateful. Thanks for your time, and I hope that you all have a spicy day. See you next time. So now, uh, I had spoken to the creator, and I actually know them from doing cons, and I want to make this clear, because I don't think a lot of people realize, you can, in fact, use the the, the uh, lessons in the book to sell comic books as well, so please, don't write this off as something that wouldn't help you. Very clever young lady, please check it out. Um, Bradley Golden is saying a couple things, I just want to touch base with it. Uh, Nigel Flood asks, what else will be featured? A ton of stuff, Nigel. Uh, Vegas, baby, uh, and one more, and Victoria Black. Yes, we'll be talking about Victoria Black. That's for certain. Um, so we're going to move on, but I just wanted to say that you could you could actually spend time investing in this and seeing about the actual ability to make money in comic books with this as well. So keep that in mind. Um, Five-star comic. Let's see why it earned five stars. Clean the surface. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure if they actually have the rights to that song as such because we don't want any drama. We turn down the volume and you get to hear my voice. I'll tell you what I think of it, and I am impressed by the art. I think it's kind of a cool – it's almost got a um, – what was that? What was the Will Smith film? Um, what was that uh, where he was the superhero – Oh, damn. I'm like, I want to say Hitch, but I know it's not Hitch. Uh, it was the other one. I can't think of it right now, but where he was the superhero, it kind of gives me that feeling, the way that the art, the art shots are done. I don't necessarily think the characters are all like. As a matter of fact, uh, this is uh, from the mind behind Tony Clapper's Come from the Hero First. Uh, let's check out a little bit more about it real quick because we had to cut the music off and there wasn't really an explanation. In a world of superheroes and evil, villains are nothing new. One man gets a second chance at life, incredible powers, as well as fame and popularity that comes with it. Kevin Terry is five-star. Follow five-stars. He attempts to protect the world 
make his mark in the superhero community, become a legend without losing himself in, flame, in fame and glory. So that is five star. Let's check out what's buzzing with Saw. Hi, my name is Tyron Silva. Earlier this year, I successfully launched my first Kickstarter, Shaman's Destiny. And with your help, we were able to bring that to life. But now I'm back with my next epic tale, Saw the Lightning Wielder. The concept for Saw is based on Hmong folklore. For the past few years, I've been planning, developing, and researching everything I can to make this series outstanding. This book is designed to be an ongoing series of twists and turns around every corner, action, and tons of suspense. The series stars Tracy Lore, an overworked and underpaid college student who is struggling with her life while trying to help her widowed mother support the family. Things get even tougher on Tracy when she finds out that she has the power of Saw, an ancient force who can control lightning and wield the magical axe. Now, it will be up to Tracy to use the power that she has inherited to stop the evil Lord Eclipse and his army from escaping the Shadow Realm and returning to ours to wreak havoc. Saw is the first superhero action series from Big Tree Comics. It's written and created by myself, with line art from David Jackson, colors by King Bola, and lettering done by Nikki Powers. Now my team has already started work on the first issue. Our goal is to get these books into your hands as fast as possible. You might even say we're going to get to you as fast as lightning. Along with this gorgeous book, there will be Kickstarter exclusive rewards, like a pennant gallery by any creators, an option of different prints, and even a variant cover drawn by myself and inked by Larry Haynes from Joshon Somewhere. There will also be an option to get a print of Model Christy Chalk, Cosplay and Saw, and so much more. But we can't get there without your help. Please check out all the rewards below and pledge if possible. Thank you and have a great day. Music provided by the music of Chris Jones. Check his workout at tmocj.com. I'm just going to cut it right now because it does go on for a bit. So let's talk about Argo 5, brand new to this show today. Now, what do you guys think of this? Um, I want to know on uh, social media, or put it in the comments below. Do you guys like it when a video doesn't necessarily talk about, uh, like a, a person doesn't narrate the video? I'm just curious. Uh, I know people go back and forth in this. I personally like narration to explain it a bit. I do like hearing the creator's voice behind the project or watching all these videos. Uh, I think that sometimes just hearing the uh, the music behind it, it, it kind of gets me a little bored with my ADHD. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. That's just me. I think this is a great video. I, the video art was nice, and they give a good scroll. It's the first time I'm watching it with you guys. But I always like better, to me personally, when someone actually is saying something in the background, explaining the Kickstarter. We're going to see tonight. It'll be... Hold on one second. Let's see if Niobe 4 does that. Oh, here we go. Walk 
Okay, once again, because I don't know if the Kickstarter, and this is the first time I'm watching it, I don't know if there's a, a license to that, that video. I can't play it. Uh, it's one thing. That's a problem with what, using video, using songs on videos. You guys have to watch. Do not use materials that are copyrighted that you do not have the permission to use. This can cause a problem. This can cause you a lot of problems, as a matter of fact, because your video could be taken down on you if someone finds out that you're using it. So do be careful with that. So, let's see if there's actually any. Is it yeah, so it's still just the music. It is a great creative team behind it. They are coming up on their uh, their fourth book here. So, I mean, they've had the staying power to do four books. They're off to a great start, almost close to their goal. So definitely check it out. It's certainly worth the look. Now, Blackjack was the one I made the joke about. When we, after we watch the video, I'll explain the joke. Now, if you're wondering why sometimes I let music play, if there isn't singing to it, generally I think it's free music because I know Kickstarter doesn't allow music. So if someone starts singing, I will mute it. Now, this is clearly not the comic book for kids. Obviously, this is meant to be more of an adult uh, book. I have no problem with that. I am the creator of Fetish Babies. The reason I was calling Blackjack to hit on them is actually that, you know, it is an adult featured book. So with that in mind, they've gone with some more uh, risque covers, as it were. And these are some things that you guys can actually wind up getting. And these are censored copies, so please don't report it as nudity. It's not. Haters, calm down. They put little censored tags there. So it's not technically nudity. But I believe the risque covers do not come with the risque uh, censored tags. They, they're just full risque. And uh, Robert Gar is here, so I can ask him. Those are full nudity covers, right? So, and there are, you know, this is an adult book. It's meant to be adult. I see nothing wrong with it. Uh, I do think that there's, you know, something interesting about this. And if there's a market for it and people want to buy it, God bless, we're all fucking adults. If you don't like it and you're offended by it, this isn't the comic book for you. Some people do like nudity. Some people do like, yeah, they are. They are completely new. Some people do like flirtation and fantasy. If it's not for you, don't back the comic book. Or if you don't like the fact that it's nude, I, I don't know. I, uh, probably there's nudity in the comic, so this isn't one of those times where I think anyone's using it out of turn because I think nudity is part of the story. So I can't even, you can't even say uh, there's risque and nude covers. Okay. So, you know, I think that what Robert's here. Uh, I think that he would agree that this is meant to be for an adult comic and it's a fantasy. So with that in mind, if you're not into something that's nudity, this isn't it. But this isn't one of those stories, and I just want to say it, 
to back uh, the creative team behind this. This isn't a story that like is meant to be all ages that they're doing risque covers for. Clearly, this is not a kid's book. Yeah, Rob, Robert said it right now. This is not a kid's book. So they're not doing anything. I, you know, I get complaints. I get emails about certain things and certain covers. This isn't one of those times you guys can break out the email pad. Uh, this is an adult book, so keep that in mind. That this is something meant for adults. It's an adult story, so these covers fit that. And I don't think that they would necessarily go to a con and necessarily put the the nude covers on the table. I think that Rob would agree with me on that, or I should say Bob, because I know you put your title under Bob. I think that he, you know, they wouldn't do that as a cover. But I mean, these are covers that you can get exclusively on Kickstarter, so there is value to that because these are only going to be produced for the Kickstarter. And maybe there is, it's like uh, Faust. So yeah, it, it, it is one of those things where you can get it right here, right now. So, you know, if you're looking for exclusive content, this is it. Yeah, they cover them up pecans, exactly. Even with, uh, when we, we do fetish babies, we never show nudity. We do do some risque things, but you know, this is something that you can get now. It's, look, man, we're all adults. And you know, if you're, if this is something that speaks to you, go for it. I'm sure Robert knows that not everyone's going to enjoy this. They're very limited amounts, Robert wants me to tell you. I'm sure, Robert, just like when I did Fetish Babies, I knew not everyone was going to be behind it. And I'm sure Robert understands that with his current title, that not everyone's going to be behind this. But the one thing I will do want to stress is that for a book like this, it fits. So bravo, Robert. Great marketing. Great using uh, the art team. Looks fantastic. I'll definitely be joining on with everybody else. And um, I mean, I'm impressed by it. I, I, I do think that this is the right use for the right covers. So if these speak to you, this is your time now to get them. Uh, we, they were scared at first. Trust me, I made fetish babies, Robert. I get it. I get it. But it fits for this title. For this title, no one can say anything because it is an adult story. And it is something that fits the narrative. Now, if your story was about blackjack dealers and you were using a cover like that, you might be in some trouble. <laughs> you might be like, why would a blackjack dealer need that? But this is not what the book is about. This is not for kids. It's clearly not for kids. This is something different. This is meant for adults, and it's a fantasy. So please, when you're writing your nasty emails about me showing things like this, please remember that not everything is meant for everybody. So if this doesn't speak to you, God bless. Go read what, what speaks to you. But this should be allowed. I'm not a fan of censorship, and this is done well. So Robert, hats off. Expect me to be joining the backers. James versus the New World Order issue number three. Here we go. Hey everyone, Brandon Beatros here, writer and creator of James versus the New World Order. Just to let you know that issue three Kickstarter is up and going. Uh, the project is 99% complete, so the wait time will be next to nothing. We're hoping to have everything out by late December, early January. So take a look at our take a look at our packages. Consider purchasing a pledge, and uh, here's some videos of our artwork uh, and a little sneak preview. So enjoy, and I hope you like what you see. Thank you. Now again, hold on. We're gonna give the warning. This is explicit content. I've never seen this video before. So if there's nudity, please don't write me. <laughs> An angry email. You're being warned right now. Explicit content. This is it. This is your time to tune off. I have no control over what comes next because I haven't watched it. So let's watch this together and be offended or excited together. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> We got out of that without showing any boobs. The world can go on. Uh, actually, I would have I liked boobs with men. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here come the nasty emails. Uh, let's check out uh, Dreamwalkers. fantastic i just want to take a minute to remind you of the amazing team behind it brian Ravel, brian hawkins hayden aiden hydean oh sorry ha hey ha Kren, aiden i know i'm saying that wrong i'm sorry my man and his brother and tobin raka Rayaku. i think i'm getting that one wrong too but amazing team behind it looks like a fantastic and I, I say this all the time. We talk about diversity in comic books. Here is a diverse title. If you want to support diversity in comic books, support diverse titles. Here's a diverse title. Go support diversity. Dragon Troll. Now, this is a long, long video. Oh, wait. They've actually switched it to a shorter video. I feel cold. Very cool. So we can actually watch this whole video. I cannot remember ever feeling this cold. Usually, it's like a 40-minute video. Maybe it's because I've done this shit too long. When did my clothes first stink of death? When did I start hating the light? Stop hearing the screams of my victims. Items they call them. When was the exact moment I detached myself from the rest of the world and stopped feeling responsibility or remorse for the things I've done? The life I've led for all these years has sanded away the meat, the bone, and the marrow until only cold hard steel remains. And how long until that too is gone? I'm not even sure who or what I am anymore. What's the job? Ah, uh, it's nothing really. There's a ship arriving at the Eastern Landing Pad tomorrow morning. Inside is a rare creature, usually the more wealthy trolls who want something more exotic than the average timid and keep them from pets. The one our buyer wants is a female font. All you have to do is deliver her to me. So, did you quit yet or what? Does it look like I quit? <laughs> Ain't you finished yet? I don't have all day. Well, that's for the politicians to work out, isn't it? I am just the ambassador. 
I am just here to promote goodwill. I'm not in charge of negotiations. Did you receive the gifts, I see? Yes. My wife quite enjoyed the Andorian wine. And my little girl found the spider monkey charming. She's always wanted a puppy. I guess you could consider it Goss version of a puppy, couldn't you? Yes, yes, I sent it especially for her. Personally, I love children. Don't we all? Well, I'll probably be meeting with you tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Until then. So that's it. It's raised $287 on a $50 goal, but I'm sure they could use more help. Check it out. It's an amazing uh, tale of mobster trolls. Check it out now. And you can see a lot of energy and love has been put into this project. So give it a look. And remember, if, if, if anything, if you think it's worthwhile, give it a single dollar. Let's check out The Silent Descendants. And hopefully it's not so silent. Now, I think this is one of those videos I have to show. Okay. It's going to be a lot of hard age of 10, I've worked hard on Hello, oh, my name is Daquan Kane, and I'm the creator of The Silent Descendant. For 16 years since the age of 10, I've worked hard on these characters and their story from their inception, and the day has finally come to share it all with you guys. The story centers around the Dark Furies, a New York family, and several of their friends as they cope with the tragic effects of a deadly school bombing which killed their patriarch and soon-to-be in-law. After the main character, Hayden Dark Fury, accidentally unleashes an ancient mysticism that embeds itself into he, his sister Sarah, and five of their friends, they form a vigilante initiative to bring the local gang behind the bombing to justice. However, not counting on the task proven to be more difficult than originally imagined, or the frustration that will come along with having to cooperate with one another. Filling the roster are seven interesting young men and women. Fire Fury, also known as Hayden Dark Fury, the team leader. Tech, also known as Max Ford IV, the second in command. Starshock, also known as Rachel Jane Jones, the hacker. Defire and Deck, also known as Evan Powell's and Sarah Dark Fury, the reconnaissance pair. Bolger, the ethicist, and Grunge, the street expert. As the creator of this story and universe, this book is completely written by myself, and aiding me in my journey are four talented gentlemen. Rolf Hewson, the cover artist, Felix Morales, the interior artist, Jesse Hege, the colorist, and Desi Cienti, the letterer. While the story has been mapped out for this first entry and beyond, this project needs your assistance with production, promotion, and talent fees. As rewards for your help, I've created several incentives, the physical 100-page book, a PDF of the book, nine postcards, a thank you inside of the acknowledgement section, over 30 11 by 17 prints, a copy of the 100-page script, and a one-page written sneak peek at the next chapter of the team saga. It's been a long 16-year journey, and I'm so proud of this project and these characters of mine. I hope that you're all impressed with what you see, and I'm grateful for all of your support. Thank you, and take care. Also, please be sure to check out the new free visual album, now at DaquanKane.com. All right, man. How awesome is that? Been working on it decades. I feel lazy. I don't know if it, well, I have something I've been working on for a decade. Okay, I feel good. New to the show today is Victoria Black going all the way to January 26th. Let's see what's going on with Victoria. Yo. All right, so once again, we can't show the video. We can't play the video, so I'll play the narrative. It's the first time I'm watching it. Uh, Bradley, you can't use music. You're killing me. I don't know if you're talking now. That's definitely not <laughs> copyright approved. Um, let me see if I can get the about section up and read it to you guys while we're doing this. Uh, I don't think we're going to get. 
No, it's going to be all song. So, okay. Uh, first thoughts. Looks very interesting. Definitely something that looks like a lot of energy has been put into it. Art style is fantastic. Coloring is very cool. I look forward to checking in now and seeing if this actually is from New York City because that looked like New York City to me. And the flash is at a point. This reminds me so much of New York City. This one moment, that right there. That's got to be New York City. So let's see. Hello and welcome to my Kickstarter for Tori Black. I want to thank you for checking out this page you rock. Now with that out of the way, I want to present you to my dream. I'm not just being a comic book writer, but a creator. Victoria Black is a project of love for me. It's my own interpretation of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The project is a 32, a three issue, sorry, 22 page full mini series with mature rating on hand. If you're a fan or lover of top gore and grit, this series will be for you. So New York City is a character in it, and I love seeing New York City. I miss it. But that is definitely, and it looks like going to be an awesome tale. you got to check it out. It's on Kickstarter. Let's go down once again all the amazing Kickstarters that you can have. We'll go in reverse order. We just saw Victoria Black. We talked about the Silent Descendants. We talked about the amazing Dragon Troll actual uh, – Gangster movie. It's a black and white movie. We talked about the dream workers rapid city Below zero for some reason we didn't do that. I didn't remember seeing that so we're gonna do that as soon as I'm done with this Countdown James versus the new world order unfolds. We talked about James We saw blackjack and talk about the proper use of using risque covers uh, Oh, it is Brandley said I use the uh, Majesco app to make this video it is it is legal copyright like you can use it are you sure because i get tagged a lot bradley it does look like an awesome thing i love the new york city skyscraper oh man did you do a good job on that or your artist yard team did congratulations bradley that made me instantly miss home we talked about nio before and we saw a lot about saw dreamwalker seems to be on the list twice because it's so fantastic Five-star comic book definitely deserves your backing as does bruno find out uh, by funding it on Kickstarter, what happens next for Bruno? Woohoo, Morris, we didn't really talk about because we haven't officially been asked to cover it. We wound up covering this because of a uh, glancing uh, blow, but we will give it a quick look on our way out as well. Level Up, we talked about how you can make money at conventions. We talked about Lucky Shot and how I'm now part of it. We talked about the Luminous Age of Dragons, and we talked about Undigging Greatness with the Cadavers Reverent. And I personally love this particular uh, Kickstarter. I'm just a fan of it. And we talked about the MLAC. We're going to check out Woohoo Morris real quick here. Now, I don't think I've officially been asked to cover this, but... We're Hi, I'm Craig Tyfair, and I'm the writer-artist of Woggle Morris. What is Woggle Morris, you might ask? Woggle Morris is a graphic novel series about a college-age indie rock band. Made up of longtime friends Chaz on bass, Sebastian on lead guitar, and Arnie on drums, the fledgling group is rounded out by newcomer Alicia on lead vocals. On stage, the band gels, but off stage, things aren't going quite so smoothly. Sebastian has developed an attraction to Alicia that is not in the band's best interest. The band's enigmatic new lead singer's dabbling in the occult threatens more than their carefully laid plans for success, but her powerful voice raises a long, slumbering evil. The graphic novel is a mashup of slice of life drama and comedy and magical urban fantasy. It's a 200 page story and is published as two digest sized graphic novels in black and white. Book one is 96 pages long and prints chapters one through four. Book two is 136 pages long and prints chapters five through 10. Book one is already in print and book two is complete and ready to go to the printer. And that's where you and Kickstarter come in. With your support, I can get the completion of this story into print and into your hands. So please check below, see if there's a level you'd be interested in pledging at. And thank you very much for listening. Just to be careful with the music, you know how it is.
We gotta make sure that these things don't wind up getting us tagged on a naughty list. We try so hard to be good all year. We don't want to be on Santa's naughty list. Does look fantastic. Looks very interesting. Rock and roll comes to comic books. It seemed to be in 2016 there were a lot of comic books about bands, which was kind of 2017. Wow. In 2017 there seemed to be a lot. We saw Blister. We saw. Uh, we talked about Unwritten Sins, Martin Dunn's project. It seemed like bands were the big thing in 2017 in comic books. We'll have to see if the trend continues into 2018. Rapid City, Josh Dahl's amazing project. We're going to go look at it on Kickstarter and check it out. Three minutes to record. Okay, I'll be quick. Hi, I'm Josh Dahl. I'm the writer and creator of Rapid City Below Zero, which is a supervillain revenge drama. Uh, together with artist Sean Langley, a uh, couple colors from Michael Faulkner, and a letter of KJ Kaminsky. We created the story of Icicle, who is a young supervillain, who gets betrayed by another supervillain, has her crew murdered, her boyfriend murdered, and the five issues that we're kickstarting the collection of are Act One of her revenge. So the, the issues are written and drawn and published, they're out there. What we want is to fund a print run that will hopefully last us for the whole year to fund the rest of our endeavors. We've got a lot of great um, reward levels. We've got the books that are being funded. We've got catch-up books, so if you haven't read the earlier series, you can read that. And uh, the one I'm most excited about is the Digital Super Pack, which for one low price, um, you'll get more than 20 different indie comics from a bunch of different indie creators. And I'll post some links to those around here. And um, this is a true Kickstarter and that it is the kickstart we need to fund the next level of our, our publishing endeavor to pay Sean for more art, to pay me for more writing, to pay, uh, uh, to get to conventions, to meet people. And we hope you can help us out on this. We hope you enjoy a lot of great comics. And um, very sincerely, thank you very much for your help. Now, the reason I knew we didn't do this project today, Josh Bell is a friend of mine. And that's why I go back over the list to make sure we didn't miss anything. Josh is a great guy. We tabled together on Sunday at New York Comic Con. Very creative guy. I've read this book. I've reviewed it. It's awesome. Um, we've actually got a 30-second excerpt right here of it, and I'll let you that play while I talk about it. Now, remember how he was talking about that digital mega pack? So you're going to be able to get over 20 creators from indie comics to be part of uh, this if you back the reward that you're going to get an email in PDF form. So you're going to be able to see different things and be able to understand if you want to be a fan of someone that maybe you haven't given a chance to yet or you didn't even know was out there. So why don't we take a minute? Why don't we go and look at who these people could be? Uh, Spell and Taxes by Arcane, Arcane Ink Industries. Uh, Holden Silver, a new take on The Princess and the Frog. Harold and the Happy Easter, self-published by Lund Lundberg, Lundenberg. Harold the Happy Human Easter is a friendly zombie comic. And they call us monsters. Well, that's my book. That's right. I am part of this very happily. You guys probably know what they call us monster is. But just in case, it's a story of monster bias based on Hollywood. And I can tell you more about it, but I want to go down this list. We have uh, Grafkus. I'm sorry, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, wrong by Andy Dankovich. It's a collection of graphic novel Dream World 912. Uh, they are not related by storyline, but rather united by science fiction. You have Jim the Joint, uh, Couch Comics, Jim R. Heist, Meet Jim the Half Human, Half Joint. Who, how, why? What are we talking about, dude? Check it out. And the wind began the Hellcat, the Hellcat Pussy by Lindsay Moore. Dolly by the River Studio, Lindsay Moore. Between a Rock and a Hard Place, an editorial commentary edition by Tom Publishing. Satara, John C. Joseph, Arnold, and bring a origin tale of Spaghetti Western. Autumn Gray, A Little Chaos by Eden Park. Tales, Moore's. Tales, Moors, Kares, the prey creatures that lurk beyond the mortal world. Kid Switch, the reckless sidekick production by Gleason. Heal, the homeless comics O'Connor. Evis, all life-threatening life diseases and illnesses were mysteriously cured. This is what happened next. Katrina Hates the Dead, that's Russell Nolte. You guys know him. 
Demon Bitch by Hora Tora Studios by Kristen uh, Shin. She's a lower level demon in the 13th pit of hell who wants to bring the apocalypse. The Dark Reaches, a sample by Rusty Metal DeSoto, Wantu, Want, Wuntu, Wanton, uh, Pogo, a sample of the Tales of Maccabee found in the Dark Reaches, Volume 1 Anthology. The Chair by Alteran, uh, Alteran, Alteran, sorry, it's the dyslexia, I can't get that one. Comics by Smitty, Kevin Cheston, Aaron Cout, and a man on death row struggles to escape a gaff of a sadist born in his murderous guards. Prospects by Maxwell Magernick, comic Maxwell Magernick. Uh, two mad students have fought a 150 year battle with a town within the town of Ridgeville. Joshua Black, we know this one. This is a Martin Dunn book. It's from Source Point Press. Uh, excited to see that I'm teaming up with Joshua Black. Wrong Waves also. Remember we were just talking about this? Remember I was talking about the books? Wrong Waves, Martin Dunn's band books. So that's awesome to see that. And there will be more added. So that's the best reason. Right there, get the digital pack. The digital pack is, oh, I mean, forget it. This is just an amazing collection of creators. I'm looking forward to it. I got the digital pack. I get the digital pack because I'm part of the I, – I, even though I'm part of it, I'm only one book. Look how many amazing books there are. How excited am I? I'm very excited. This has been Kickstarter Talk. Thank you all for showing up. Uh, we went over our time. We're going to go into the news right away. Give me five minutes to go to the bathroom, check in, and I'll be back to do the news. And for you in, on Kickstarter and YouTube, have a good night.